Here's an easy and very cool trick called data augmentation. To start, let's look at one of those urban images. If you flip the image horizontally, taking the photo's mirror image, it would still look like an urban scene. So we can train our model with both the original image and with the mirror image. We do this with the horizontal flip argument to image data generator. If we set horizontal flip to true, the image data generator will randomly decide whether or not to flip an image every time it is about to send the image to the model for training. Before, we had 72 images. Now, it's almost as if we had twice as many. At some point, we may have so many raw images that we don't need this, but it's usually valuable even with hundreds of thousands of images. Also, there are some cases where the mirror image of something shouldn't be classified the same as the original image. The mirror image of a stop sign doesn't say stop. So maybe we shouldn't train a model to think that's a stop sign. So you need to judge whether this makes sense on a case-by-case -case basis. There are other similar data augmentation techniques listed in the image data generator documentation, which you can see in kernels by typing image data generator and then a question mark. For instance, we could slightly crop the photo, effectively shifting it slightly horizontally or vertically. And I'll add commands to randomly shift part of the image that we train on 20% further to either side and 20% further up or down. I do that by setting width shift range and height shift range to 0.2. Even though I have 72 raw images, we'll get many different variations of them when training the model. To do an apples to apples comparison against the previous model, where we didn't do data augmentation, I'll use an image data generator for our, our validation data that doesn't do this type of augmentation or manipulation. For measuring model quality, we'll use the same raw images as we used before. Now we're ready to fit the model. Since we get different versions of the images each time we see them, I'll add the argument epics equals two. That means it goes through each raw image file two times. You can experiment with different numbers of epics. Just remember that data augmentation allows us to use more epics before we start overfitting and seeing validation scores get worse. In this particular case, our validation data is so small that there's a little bit of noise or luck in the score from any given model. Validation scores are more reliable on bigger validation data sets, and that's something that we'll get to. In any case, this is usually an easy way to get more out of your data. Do it in the following exercise and then come back for a deeper understanding of what you've done. That will lay the foundation for building models from scratch and building models for an even wider range of problems.